Hello folks and welcome back on Fabio Napoli Photography. Today I'll show you how to keep your lights steady even in a wind situation. There are actually two ways to carry your lights and your weight for the lights when you are going to or you are supposed to go in a windy situation. The first way is used by many photographers and is using one of those sacks. And this is a very handy thing to keep in your rucksack because you can travel with it without adding extra weight to your backpack. Another way is carry around your weight for distance if you are supposed to go on a windy situation without any source of picking ground and anyhow you don't want to mess it up. And it's of course not, not a cool thing to show to your customers, but if you are going to make some experiments in photography, those kind of stuff works pretty fine and you can save some money for a much cooler gear. Okay, I'm going to pick one of those plastic bags that you can buy for your refrigerator or for liquids when you fly and going to fill up with some ground just like so when you have got your plastic bag filled up with ground what you want to do is squeeze the closure leaving the bag a little bit open to make the air come out easily all right and now i'm going to close it i have selected these bags just because it's very easy to seal them now with some gaffer tape i'm going to start from the middle to wrap them up in the central line I don't need to be very precise and the very same thing on the other side uh, we just need to prepare a second one ok, once I've got my pretty cool plastic bags filled up with some ground, I'm going to stick together about 5 cm one from another and I'm going to use my gaffer tape to pick another level right here then turn them around and do the same stick together the two pieces of gaffer tape to have them with a little bit of gap and this kind of gap is going to allow me to stick the plastic bags on my light stand like so very easy I can actually put as well on the down part if I want to carry around everything with me done and here we have our extra weight that we can use for our light stand without spending a dime here we have another solution uh, an empty sack to stick in your rucksack a very good sack like this when you are on an occasion just pick it fill it with some ground or some uh, sand and it will be the same extra weight you are going to add to, to your light stands so to be quicker I've already filled up of ground this sack and what I'm going to do with this sack filled up of ground is just place the top part on the bottom part that is filled up of ground and use it like a weight for my stand like so and your light doesn't come out very easy if there is a lot of weight on them especially if you use the sack they can anyhow flow down so just be careful and now guys let's test it I'm simulating with my hand a little breath of wind and this is actually how I broke my stand uh, uh, back in London uh, using it without any weight now adding some weight that I prepared you can see is much more resistant and I can pull much more force on it keep anyway an eye on your lights because it's not guaranteed that they can afford a lot of wind Adding sacks instead of uh, plastic bags is actually 
a much more important weight that you are going to add as you can see uh, your light stands can afford much more wind in this uh, simulation and if the wind is still too strong you wanna put three sacks on them not guaranteed for a tornado but yeah it's cool pretty cool innit? it's actually pretty cool to customize them with a stencil like in this case so there you go hope you enjoyed this video fabio here see you next adventure